do black holes destroy information? This was supposedly a huge mystery that physicists wanted to solve to understand the universe with big implications and so on. Or so popular science writers wanted you to think. And then the big mystery just fizzled away. Whatever happened? Let's have a look. The biggest problem with black hole information loss is that it's not about information. So please don't get hung up on the question of what information means. It's totally irrelevant. The issue is that Stephen Hawking found out that black holes can decay by emitting radiation, which is now called the Hawking radiation. According to his calculation, this evaporation process is irreversible, which means that you can't tell from the final state of the decayed black hole, which is just a bunch of radiation, what formed the black hole or what fell in later. To put this differently, there are many initial states that lead to the same final state in black hole evaporation. What physicists mean by information in this context is just all the details that describe the initial state which get lost. It's not what we usually mean by information. Really, it had better be called the black hole irreversibility problem. It's a problem because the irreversibility is incompatible with quantum physics. In quantum physics, everything besides the measurement should be reversible. Yes, that means if you burn a book, that is a reversible process in principle, unless you act Actually want to look at the book. In principle, if you knew all the details about the particles in the smoke and ashes and so on, you could calculate what was in the book. Of course, you can't do it in practice, but this is theoretical physics. The issue is that if a black hole evaporates, the irreversibility happens before the measurement, and that creates a mathematical inconsistency. It's the sort of stuff that keeps theoretical physicists up at night. The reason this happens is not the horizon of the black hole. The irreversibility happens because Hawking radiation is made of particle pairs that are entangled across the horizon. One of the pair falls into the singularity. It's gone and doesn't come back out, end of story. This is what causes the irreversibility and it's what ultimately destroys the information. By the way, this video comes with a quiz that lets you check how much you understood. But wait, I hear you say, there isn't really a singularity inside a black hole, is there? Well, no one knows for sure, because despite what they say, it's not like we send our grad students there to check out. But yes, physicists widely believe that the singularity inside black holes just means that the mathematics breaks down. We'd need a theory for the quantum properties of space and time, a theory of quantum gravity, to accurately describe what happens near the black hole singularity. And we don't have such a theory. So it's always been obvious what's wrong with Hawking's calculation. It doesn't take into account quantum gravity. It's also a process that we can't experimentally test because the Hawking radiation of the black holes that we have found is far too weak to be measurable. In the absence of both theory and data, physicists made up lots of stories about what might happen in black hole evaporation. Maybe black holes don't entirely evaporate but leave behind remnants. Maybe information can't ever fall in. Maybe it bounces back at the singularity. Maybe it comes out with the radiation after all. Maybe it sits at the horizon. Maybe black holes aren't real, and so on. And then popular science writers created this big mystery around it. Now, in the past couple of years, there have been some papers claiming that if you take into account as much as we know about quantum gravity, which isn't much, but at least something, then it looks like there is actually information in the Hawking radiation after all. The authors of this work claim that this is enough to get all the information out, so there never was any problem to begin with. I think they should have called their paper Much Ado About Nothing. I'm somewhat skeptical that this will turn out to be mathematically correct because it'd mean that no information at all hits the singularity and I don't see how this can be. But the truth is that I don't really care because we'll never find out what the right answer is in any case. And even if we did, it wouldn't matter because it won't be useful for anything. Really, the reason I'm telling you about this is that I used to think this was interesting because solving this problem was supposed to teach us something. 
But the more I thought about it, the more I realized that there's nothing to be learned here about nature, even in the best case. It's not even philosophically interesting. It's just a bunch of theoretical physicists fighting about whose maths is the prettiest in a contest that'll never be decided by data. So what's the point? Well, points are singular, so one could say that the entire point of quantum gravity is to be pointless. Do you know the joke about the two guys running from a bear? Do you really think we'll outrun the bear, says one of them. And the other one says, I don't have to outrun the bear, I just have to outrun you. That's how I think about internet safety. I don't have to outsmart hackers. I just have to be a little more difficult target than most of you. And that's why I use NordVPN. NordVPN is an app that you install on your phone or laptop. It provides a secure and private connection for your internet browsing, and it comes with a threat protection that keeps you safe from malware, trackers, and malicious ads. It's super convenient because it allows you to pick your location. You see, NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers all over the world, and you can choose one. This allows you to access websites in other countries by using a server located there. I find this especially convenient to get around all the blockages on US pages for visitors from the European Union. If you use our custom link nordvpn.com slash Sabine or the coupon code Sabine, you'll get a better deal and I can really recommend it. I found NordVPN super easy to use. It installs with just a few clicks and hasn't caused me any trouble. You can combine it with a password keeper called NordPass and a secure platform to store and share files called NordLocker. If you get them all together, you'll get a better price and they all have a 30-day money-back guarantee. To make use of our special offer, go to nordvpn.com slash Sabine or use the coupon code Sabine. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.